What is going on? Cause zero people watching this. I just got lost in my lines here. Totally forgot everything we had. Uh, so I am suggesting I made the switch. Uh, put seven down on the second line to get us at plus three. I mean, our team has been simulating well without it, but we're gonna try it with it. Um, I mean, we're kind of fucked here. We might have to make some deals. Midi Mackey. What's he got left? One year at 7.45. And we're going to go view contracts right away. Get this out of the way. Brandon wants to resign. Of course he does. Uh, see how much extension dollars. 32 million extension dollars. <coughs> Fuck, man. Three, he'll be thirty-five. Thirty-four. Yeah, we'll go with the and I could probably get a discount on him. So we'll give him 9.9 .9 for three years. 9 point. Uh, I don't know. Fuck it. 9.9. .9, whatever. Three years. Semen doesn't want that extension. And that's what he wants. Eh? So it looks like we're trading Semen. <laughs> he doesn't want to sign. We're not playing that shit. Uh, but we're going to wait to make our move. Uh, for sure. He does want to resign, so we could probably get a discount on him as well. Uh, we'll try four years at 5.8. Five, 5.75. There we go. Pretty much spend the rest of your career here. Um... So now next is Nitty Mackey. He does. Wait, what? We can't resign him. Are you joking? Uh, we're we're gonna see what we can get for Salmon here right now. The Salmon guy doesn't want to resign. One year left. I know I said we'll wait to make our move, but uh, we'll we'll just see what we can get. I'm trying to get Byron back. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, actually, I want to make sure. The team I'm trading to is interested. Columbus willing to take a chance on them, despite being kind of a letdown team. We're gonna need a right winger actually, so Anthony Mantha, <laughs> ten million. No thanks. Actually, I want to see McDavid's career stats. Yeah, no, definitely not a bust. Definitely not a bust. 1,000 games played. He has only 32, 1,293 points. It's a crazy career. Let's see what Dre Seidel's got. More games, less points, whatever. He's still a really fucking good player. So, despite having that, I don't think Edmonton has won the cup in this sim. Ah, anyways. Ooh, look at that. They have all the cap space in the world to give us this Landeskog guy. Bring back another Landeskog guy. He's a center, though. We need a right wing. Sprong, that's who they have there. This lackey guy. Looking good. 76 at 21. He is a sniper. Right-handed, right-winger. Two years at a million dollars. Whoa. Let's see. Straight up, we might be able to get it. Just like that. Um. 
the thing is, is if we make this trade, we lose a lot there on that right wing. So what we would need to do is find another player that could play at least on the third line. We could bring Brendan Gallagher up. Um, 83 at 21. They really don't want to get rid of these guys. These are going to be their future. But we give them seven. And we'll see what else they would want from us. Skaters match and block. <coughs> Shit. Um. I don't know. Goalies match and block. Giftopolis. Uh, we'd have to get rid of Giftopolis. An elite potential goaltender. For these two. 81, 83. He's an 83. That's good. And he's a 76. So he's not going to play for us right away. But he'll be up there soon. Um... They both only have top six potential. We're getting rid of a medium elite goaltender for that. We gotta. I'm not doing that. I think Semin for Lackey. Or we could try to get Semin for the 83 overall. Um, Wagner. Let's see. Ron Wagner. 21 years old. 83 overall, 7 for Wagner, accepted. We just lost 3 overall. Unless Wagner brings us up, I don't know. Regardless, let's see, we got... Yeah, we'll put down Tonle, whatever. Um, add it lines. Let's see. I know I said I'd wait, and then I just went ahead and made a decision, but... Fuck him. So he doesn't bring us a plus one. If we put Gru up there, he gets plus one, and so does Wagner. So I think Gru's going to play on the second line for us. Yeah, we lose our plus three with pretty much... I'm in. Even, even Petrolining can't keep it a plus three. Huh. There's no one? Hold up. Did I... Okay, I didn't see you wrong. Let's see Wagner on the first line. Nothing, eh? Yeah. Um, Connolly, maybe? No. Yeah. So it looks like those are going to be the lines there. Those are going to be the lines there. Rather have them playing at a plus three. So, you'll be carrying that second line. If we could find a top four defenseman, that'd be nice. Um, three on three. McKinnon, Renton, and Petrolanen. And we'll go Hogs and remember what he did in that uh, playoffs there. You know, he fucking scored some big goals. Ty Smith will get the go ahead and we'll put Blucius here. Yeah. Fucking eh. Anyways, let's get the fuck out of here. Go back to the contracts. I need to sign that goalie, Nidamaki. Now that's, uh. Oh, wait a second. That's right. That's why I went to the trade screen in the first place. I can't re sign him. I'm gonna have to test him in free agency. Anyways, let's get this sim on the fucking road. It's 10 minutes in and I haven't done anything. We're just gonna sim like this to see the contracts. Now hold up, he was having a great season. Dude, his trade value should have been way higher. 83 at 21 years old, seven points in seven games. What's this, his second season? Third? Okay, so this is actually six games played, seven points in his first game in a different scene. Like, I don't know why they traded him. He was on a point-per-game pace right off the bat. Bad time to trade him. 
maybe they saw something else that we did it. But uh I'm not there. And a seven one lost to Vegas. I just realized, damn. Maybe we don't want to resign Nitty Matthew, but then we get a seven three win. What the hell is that? Smith resigns, good. They're ranting in resigns as well. Alright, so I think that's it for the contracts. A few more. A few more. Um I wonder how many Extension dollars. It doesn't just show you right there, eh? No, you'd have to click on a player. So does that mean he's signed till next year? Oh yeah, he's a UFA. Wait a second. Yeah, exactly. He's a UFA next year. Which is the off season coming up, I'm pretty sure. Eight years at almost four million. Go three point seven seven five. There we go. Got him. Gru doesn't want to resign. Can't resign Stadnika Vekinainen. We'll get him for a few more years. Because uh, him and Ty Smith get that plus three. So, you know, he'll be on that bottom pair with Ty Smith for the next few years getting you that plus three. Fuck yeah. Nope. For two third rounders at that. Are you on crack? There we go. So, him and Ron Wagner sign. The next year's team is looking better than this one already. I'm, I'm more hyped about next year. Fucking A. Let's get it. So Wagner's on. Uh, Rantan's on. Smith and Vekinainen decide to sign. Hell yeah. Um. Fuck man. Other than. Maybe trying to trade Nitty Mackie for a goalie with a longer term. I don't know why I can't resign him. That's weird. Anyways, let's send to the deadline at least, and we'll see what we're like by then, and we'll make some more moves for now. We gotta simmer down. Just spent a lot of money. Back-to-back -back win on the Habs. Oh, yeah. We are a fucking good team, man. Even without Taylor Hall, that first line's still deadly. That plus three, getting McKinnon at a 92. Man, he used to be a 99, man. He's had a terrific career here in Colorado. I'm hoping if he signs for the right amount of money... Uh, we could keep him till he's 40, 42, however long he wants to play, man. Even if he's a third liner. And I just hope he's not asking for 8 mil to be on the third line just because whatever, right? Regardless, 23 and 4 at this point. 24 and 4 now. There we go. Let's go, boys. I did not think we'd be on pace for another fucking President's Trophy. But it's looking like it. Fifty four points. I'd have to stop the sim to see the rest of the teams. Looks like we're gonna do that in the new year. We'll check our point totals for our players here. Sabres have fifty nine points. Rangers with only forty six, damn. Metropolitan is weak. The Coyotes got fifty six. And we got 60. We're the only team with 60, but the Sabres are right behind us with 59. They're having a terrific year, too. Oh, man. I wonder who's on the Coyotes making that good. Patra Linen taking off. 
42 points. The leading the team in points here. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. Hold up. I also kind of forget what's going on. Oh, yeah. So, the Leafs won last year against the St. Louis Blues. So, we didn't even make the finals. It's the first time in a long time. I remember we had that streak. Uh, we lost once in the finals. It was to the Leafs. And then we beat the Sabres, and they went on to beat the Blues. That's what's going on in the last couple years there. And here, we got two players at 42 points. It's Makar and Patch line, and Makar is fucking a beast, hell yeah. Look at this. For a defenseman, 776 points in 828 games. And I just realized my mic was uh, a little bit unplugged, so I really hope... Uh, Everything I've been talking about is going to make its way onto the stream. But this guy here, absolute beast. Absolute beast. Never had less than 50 points. Never. Not once in his career. Even as a rookie. 50 points, 57 games. 79 games, 52. Whatever. But then he improved much more. Hitting the 60s. 73, 90s. For three straight seasons. Almost had a 100 point season as a defenseman. From the blue line. That is crazy. Dropped back down to a 79. Pretty much a point per game player. Just to say under. I'd say like .94 points a game. Or whatever. You know .9 points a game. Whatever the fuck you want to say. This guy. Miko Rantanen. Actually we'll check McKinnon first. He's older. Whatever. Um... 1,300 games played. What a time to check it out. Exactly at 1,300. He's currently sitting at 1,473. He's going to be one of the all-time scorers, man. What a beast. Nathan McKinnon brought us so many chips. He's going down in overall, too. I just realized that. Ran in 90 overall. Still 1,147 points in 1,055 games. And I want to see how Petrolinen's doing in his career so far. Five, almost 600 games, 465 points. Not bad. Started his career in 40, 48. You get the point. He uh, improved much, much, much. Had one point per game season. So um, he's on pace to pass that this year too. Big hopes for him. He's only 25. Big, big deal, this guy. What was he drafted at, man? Oh, he was the first pick of 2022. We ended up with a lot of Ottawa players. I remember that. Fitov. Uh, we drafted Svitov, actually. How's he doing so far in his... Wow, he's already played 436 games, man. Boris in the NHL here. Um, he had a real bad year. Or it's because, yeah, his first year was 14 points in 82 games. He played on the lower lines, but then uh, came out of nowhere. 39 and 50, 54, 64. On pace to pass that again. What a beast. This Wagner guy I'm excited for. I don't know. Just got obsessed with the stats there. I'm gonna fuck in. I'm gonna get back to the sim. Fucking. I don't know if I'll be able to do the playoffs. Well, it's not a big deal. We can always do that later today or whatever. So let's get to that deadline. 27-4-6 at this point. Hell yeah. 9-1 win. Jesus. Mills lungs. You know what? Let's check him out. At one point. Uh, 79 overall. 29. Nah, we're not going to take that. We need any cap we could get to sign a goalie next year or whatever the case may be. Matt Duchesne, the old Colorado half -land. They're trying to get us to take him. Oh, man, what's he like right now? You know what? I want to see his career stats, too. What was his career like uh, after that Colorado trade? He's an 80 overall still, 38 years old, playing in Boston. Been flipped around a couple teams the last few years. 1,152 points in 1,560 games. Had a couple of years where he slacked off. Got injured, I guess. 
fucking 12 points in 23 games. Uh, I don't know why, but that was probably a trade. Yeah, Ottawa traded him pretty fucking quick. I don't get... Yeah, he was about a 50, 60, 70, yeah, 60, 70 kind of, I'd say 60 points a year kind of person. Really good career, but we're not taking him back. Damn. 10 years, and you see all these players that are playing right now all fucking done their careers. It's a pretty cool, I know it's not exactly how it's going to go down, but it's cool to still see, I think. I like that aspect of GM mode. And, um, oh, fuck. I'm... MCL sprain, are you fucking kidding me? We're just gonna go replace the player for now. Not really worried about the draft class, neither. I mean, we are top of the league. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it still said we had 60 points. Now it's 80. I just can't see. Oh, no. Fuck. So we're going to bring up that tone lay guy, I guess, if he wants. I really don't care. I'm just throwing tone lay on the second line here. It's easier to... I wonder what that does to the... Alright, so we don't get any chemistry boost or nothing, but that's okay. Back-to-back -back losses without Petrolinen in the lineup. We do win a game. Two now. So we can still win without him. That's a uh, like playoff scare right there. Someone gets injured in the playoffs. I don't know how good we're gonna do. Tonle, you're just gonna stay up up until uh, you Levy's back, I suppose. MCL sprain that hurts us, but we're still winning games. I wonder who's on the. I didn't even check who uh, replaced him. I think it's Yuli. Remember signing him to like eight years at nine fifty. He's been a real good depth defender for his top line in the AHL, maybe. He he knows his role. He's a beast. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. I kind of want to keep him there. <laughs> Actually, let's see how him and... Uh, him and um... Yeah, they get the plus one, but we're going to keep Schneider in there. Fuck it, right? 6-2 win over Tampa. I don't know why I fucking commentated on that. It's not like I do it for every game. Maybe I should. But you guys could clearly see. I don't fucking know. So I guess we're going to be a conservative buyer. Enter the tra trade deadline. Fuck sakes, I can't even talk. Kyle Connor. Oh man. There's the guys. Uh, so fuck the top 10 players. I just want to see who's available. That's a cool feature though. Top 10, right? Oh, they're already trying to trade 7. Huh. Maybe we go get him back for the rest of the year. He's only at two mil. I don't care if he resigns next year or not. But what's the what's the asking price here? Can I? That's right. They show the asking price. I want to see what they actually want. What do they want for four seven? Oh wait a second. Okay, that's the Vancouver. So four seven. They want a top defenseman prospect. Oh no, I'm not getting rid of Palin for him. Look at that, Palin is almost NHL ready. I am not. There's no fucking way you're getting Palin from me. Huh. But you would take my first round pick, wouldn't you? First round pick for seven, as long as I get the New York Rangers second. Rejected. Hmm. I don't think we're going to make it happen. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Boris Salmon gets traded. But LA Kings beat us to him anyway. Hmm. Panthers are looking to trade Barkov. 86 overall at 10 mil. No thanks. Even if it's just for the year. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. God damn. Hmm. I actually do want to see the goalies. Wait a second, how do I? Oh, I gotta go all the way back, eh? So let's go propose trade, and we're gonna go check out most of the goalies on every team there. I want to see if there's any goalies even these teams want to get rid of.
So, Lefebvre, this, I like this. We could get him for a cheap price. We don't even have to give him Nitty Mackey, despite, like, Nitty Mackey has, like, no trade value. That's weird. That is weird. Let's see what his save percentage is like and whatnot. He's putting up a 908. It's not the best, but it's getting us by. I mean, he's got us 39 wins. A 908 in 52 games. That's pretty good. 2.5 goals against average. So, you know, we do score a lot of goals. He only has one shutout. Yeah, he's not really the greatest goalie, is he? Yeah. He's played most of his years here in Colorado. Even in the A, he couldn't get a 9 right there. What's his best in the NHL right now? It's 9-10. Yeah, that's his best, the 9-10. So he's not really a great goalie by any means anyways. So, you know, him being an 87 overall is a joke. Um... I guess it's the amount of games he's played. I don't fucking know. You know, look at that. We've been sweating this guy. Fucking 64 games. 65, 66. He's on pace to play just the same amount. So I guess a 960-some games is pretty fucking decent. Fuck, man. He averages about two shoutouts a year. So we're not taking that trade, fuck that. Alright, so I'm trying to see goalies. Uh, wait, we were just looking at Lefebvre. I actually like this guy. Lefebvre? 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 I don't know. He's a UFA, so we won't even be able to sign him this year. And that's alright with me. He's an 86 at 24. I don't know what he's done in the NHL. But we could probably get him for a second rounder, to be honest. And maybe if we add some, some extra fifth rounder right there. Colorado would have too many goalies, so maybe we can even just get him for a second rounder and a goalie they don't really fuck care about. Like, uh, we can't get rid of them. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of uh, Artemeyer. There we go. So, here, I'll even give him a seventh and a sixth and then take a fourth from him or some stupid shit like that. There we go. Give him three fucking picks. Four, actually. I don't even think I need to give him my second, to be honest, at this point. Look at that. That's a fair trade. Ah, uh, maybe not. They don't reject it to this point. So a fifth, sixth, and seventh isn't enough to do it. Maybe if I give him a fourth, I'll keep my seventh. Maybe we'll strike out with a big guy there. Rejected to that point as well. So it looks like we're going to have to give him a second. A fifth and a sixth. Uh, here, I'll keep the fifth. Give him a 6th and a 7th with the 2nd. And Artemeyer for the 5. And they accept. So the 2nd round pick was enough. And I actually don't know if I can go sign him at this point. Um, probably not. But we're out of here. We got anything we needed. I can't imagine we need anything else. I mean, we're fucking the best team in the league here, man. Or one of them at least. So I'm not too fucking worried. Fuck, man. So, Byram goes to Buffalo. Uh, Calgary gets their first round pick. Cool. Buffalo gets even better. Colton Sissons for one year. No thanks at two million and five. I don't get how they do that. I can't just give a player an extra 5k. It's gotta be 50 or 25 or 75. Fucking weird. Anyways, so I just want to see, out of curiosity, if I could. I don't think I can even... Resign players, few contracts. Or maybe I can. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, RFA. 
What? Unsigned? Oh wait, I gotta go goalies. Five. The five. Aha, I can't sign him, so I gotta go and wait till next year. Let's view his profile though. He's a hybrid second round pick. 35th pick of 2024 to be exact. 6-1 at 195. Only 24 gloves left. Drafted by Arizona, by the way. Um, this motherfucker, has he even played a NHL game? Let's see. Yeah, he's... Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be getting much saves, but he did post better save percentages um, in the A than Nitty Mackie did, except for that second year. Or shit, he just played one game. It was in a loss. It was a bad, bad game. He let four goals on 38 shots. I mean, whatever. First game, 38 shots. Only let four. And you gotta give him credit for that, I guess. Uh, 924 back in the A. 52 games, 28 wins out of 924. That's good. And then they played him in 70 games in 8-9. So maybe this guy could be better. It's just... um. They, they worked him. He's still young. That He's got experience. And shit, I won't try to work him the way that uh, we worked Nitty Mac here. That Arizona worked him right away. So let's keep simming to the end of this year. How many more games have we got? Not too much. Just one more month. Go to the 10th of May, I think it is. 10th of April, whatever. 46... Almost 50 wins again. Man, maybe we could get 60 wins. I think we have, what, two 60 win seasons? Three, maybe? Maybe we could get four here. This team is even, like, what the fuck, right? I think that's AHL, so we'll just go best lines. No thanks. Yeah, dude, that Metropolitan is weak. We're at 110 points. And... <sighs> A pulled groin? Are you fucking jerking too hard or something? A pulled groin? Are you fu You know what? I'm just gonna go give Gift to pull this a fucking chance. The game wants to do that to me? Fuck it, dude. We're putting the 47 overall goaltender in the fucking net. First game in the NHL. I don't fucking care. It's Gift to pull this in net. Fuck you, Dostal. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if that was gift to Paul. Listen, that we gotta we gotta see, or was it Dostal? Either way, you probably got that was a voice crack and a half. But either way, you probably got uh, pulled. Actually, actually, no, he didn't even play. He didn't even play. He didn't even play. So, so that means Dostal played. Oh, man, after letting nine goals in, the coach didn't fucking take him out. He really doesn't trust Giftopolis, but the GM does, and he's telling the fucking coach, you let him in. You let him fucking play. Brody Giftopolis, 19 years old, gloves right, 6'4", let him play in the fucking net. Don't you dare take him out. We're simcasting this first game here. one nothing on Giftopolis. 3-1, oh man, oh, oh baby, on oh, 25 shots, Giftopolis, is he one of the three stars, no he's not, but what's that save percentage give him, what's that save percentage give him, hold up, Colorado stats, I want to see, all skaters, no, just the goalies, Giftopolis, a 920 save percentage, two goals allowed, whatever, whatever, he played better than Dostal, that's his first NHL game. And what a beast. At 47 overall, he stands on his fucking head and gets us the win. And now Nathan fucking McKinnon is injured. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You know what? I'm sim casting. Our team is weak. I don't even know. I just fucking went replace players, so fuck you. All right. I cannot believe Giftopolis just snuck us a win right there. Two goals allowed on 25 shots. Not bad for your first suit up in the NHL. Dostal's in net. He allows two goals in the first. He's allowed three so far, and he allows four goals in a loss. 
We're playing Gifto Polis and Net to go against the Kings here. The young lad, the 19 year old. He's supposed to be a phenom, isn't he? Oh, but Nitty Mac, he's back. All right, all right, all right. You know what? You played a great first game. That's fucking awesome that you got us that win in the first place. I don't fucking care. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that's still, dude, as if, as if that just happened. A 47 overall goaltender, so it just proves. EA doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with goalies, as if. You're gonna let a 47 get fucking 25 shots and only let two in. He's a 47. Oh, man, this Dostal guy is just killing me. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> he's just killing me. He just played it back to backs, I guess, but still, he's allowed nine goals in six periods of hockey. There's a problem when you're letting more goals in periods of play. Fuck's sakes. Let's see, Winnipeg. You better put Nitty Mackie in that here. There we go. He works out a bit better. We get the 4 3 win. Is McKinnon back yet? <laughs> fuck, dude. Wait, has U11 even came back yet? What the fuck, right? Damn, plagued by injuries, and we're still gonna win the President's Trophy. That's well deserved, don't you think? I think Marder Kynan's in the AHL, so I shouldn't be too worried about that. We're still getting dubs, and Nathan McKinnon finally comes back. This tall guy. Let's see what he's done in his nine games. Only three assists. Whatever, right? McKinnon's an 87 after the injury. Still gets a plus three, so he's playing as a 90. 5-2 win on the Suns. Let's go, boys. 4-3. 4-1 loss. Fuck six. 60 wins. 60 wins. Oh, I was trying to sim cast, and we get a 59 win season. Just fucking damn it. Well, those are the stats for you. Nathan McKinnon with 93 points this year. McCarr with 88. Ran in 84. Petrolina. Bill Hogson gets 63. Is that his career high? Is that? Yep, yep. That's his career high by two points. He's fucking... He's not really a goal scorer, but he can dish the puck. Brandon Gallagher even got his 46. Screw with 45. Fuck yeah, boys. Great fucking year. I'm happy with that. Blue just only had 10. I saw that, but I mean, like, come on. So did we get President's Trophy? Um, let's see, entire league. Um, yeah, we're we're first, man. 125 points, well beyond the second place team. 59 wins. So we're favorites to win the cup. I actually want to see who. Uh, I know I never do this, but it looks like I'm the only one. In three, yeah, dude. First in goals, four, 316. So we're actually first in goals for and goals against. We have the last goals against by a long shot. Damn. St. Louis with the best last 10 games. Who has the best away record? We have the best away record. And I guess we have the best home record too. We lost more on the road. 33-5-3 at home. We only lost 8 games. God damn, out of 41 home games, I think that is, or 42, whatever the fuck. Regardless, lots of fucking winning. Um, I guess I could kind of cheat and see who's going to win the awards this year. We're going to go with Tyler League. And Connor McDavid with a huge 123-point season. Yeah. Ferrero second. Wow, that duo right there. And then Dreisaitl with 103 players. On I remember those days. I remember those days. Jack Eichel with 108 points. Ferrero with 58 goals, man. But Sonnenberg, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 63 goals. Okay. 28 in his first 33. 72 in his first full 82, but the 92 this year, 63 goals. He could put the puck in the net. God damn. Anyways, we are going to probably end it right here, and I'm going to do the playoffs in another video. Um, fuck as excited as I am to do the playoffs. It'd be fucking... Oh, fuck it, we're going to do the playoffs. <laughs>
<laughs> you know I can't not do the playoffs. Anyways, let's see our lineup going into the playoffs. Vitov, McKinnon, and Ranton. So an 87, a 90, and a 93, essentially. We got an 85 out of Hogson. 90 from Petrolein, and an 83 from Brew Wagner. He doesn't get us that plus one. That's the only thing I'm pissed about. Well, I mean, yeah, no. Let's see, fuck sakes. Anyways. Fuck. You go here, and you... You go here. There we go. Anyways, um, that's our lineups. Nitty Mackie and Dostal. I really hope Nitty Mackie doesn't get injured. If we have to trust Dostal, I'm going to gift to Polis, especially after that first NHL game at a 47 overall. That must have boosted his confidence. Got called up for one game, and he fucking stopped 23 pucks out of 25. Game one. So remember, we lost to LA in the first round last year. They better not fucking snuff us again. Oh, man, we didn't even check their team. That's bad luck, ain't it? Yep, and it's bad luck we lose 3-1 in the first fucking game. I swear to God. I swear to God. We better not lose here, boys. If we lose, I might fucking... I might break up the team. Two first-round losses like that? Be a joke. Second period... Third period, and a 3 nothing win. McKinnon, Petrolinen, and Gallagher again. G on the third line. Oh, I thought it said Nady Mackey for a second. Thank fuck, right? God damn. The Kings are giving us a hard time. They fucking beat us last year. Look at our record compared to them. There's no way we should be having a hard time. Oh, man. Rantanen, and a 6-1 win. There we go. We're showing them who's boss this year, right? Fucking A, guys. <clears throat> Got some hot Cheetos here. Oh, they're hot. Wagner and Abramov. Third period and a 4 1 win. We've been killing him in that third period, haven't we? God damn. How do you like that, LA? After what you did to, to us last year or the year before, whatever, can't remember. Fuck you. Time to put it away. Yeah. <laughs> 30 on slot. Let's go. Five games and we're back in the second round. After a weak year, we deserve a win like that. Fuck you. <clears throat> Damn, that's hot. That's really hot. Anyways, we got St. Louis Blues. So, I usually check their lines. Something I like to do. Like to see, whatever. Damn, what's up with this? It's like they have a lot of centers. Well, I know Bovillier's center. Couturier used to be, well, it still is in the game. You know, Debrinkat, Barzell. I know Debrinkat used to play center too. Nikas, he used to play center, yeah. And a lot of centers. They got two guys named Darnit. He's from the state. He's from the state, so we're just going to assume they're brothers, Yarrow and Dominic. Darn it. <laughs> Nowhere near each other tonight. Yaro is the better of the two, the younger brother, apparently. Anyways, I didn't even check their defense. I'm getting lazy with that. Judo's too good to fuck care. Mm-mm-mm. God damn. First period, 3-1 lead. 4-2 lead, third period, and they almost came back, but a 4-3 win for the Avs. Going into game two. Uh-huh. Fuck yeah, 4-2 win. Ron Wagner giving us that insurance goal. 
averaging four goals against. There are four goals for a game in this series already. Let's go. Damn, that's hot. We got an overtime, and we win it. Thanks for Yuri Spitov. Let's go, baby. It looks like we're going to have to play Edmonton. We're about to sweep the Blues here. Petrolina and Anderson. Now 4-1 win. Three goals in the third. We're on to the... West Finals, yet again, after one bad season. And the Oilers sweep their competition as well. Ottawa swept the Leafs. Rangers Caps Game 7. And it's going to be the Caps and the Sens and the East. Oilers and Avalanche Weaver. Disappointed the Oilers a couple of times. Let's see if we can do it again. They got a red hot Connor McDavid coming off an Art Ross season. Try side over two goals. Klingberg. Oh, buddy, we tie the game. Fucking overtime. Nothing second overtime. And fucking Yuri Spitov with another OT goal for us. Putting us up 1 0 in the first game. Crazy. 5 to 4, man. What a third period. Those are fucking hot. They're really fucking hot. I just keep eating them. Perfume. Oh my god. Wow. 32 seconds to go. Feet off. Barry's one from pretty much the corner. And a 5 4 win in game two as well. God damn. We're snuffing the Oilers. McDavid thought this was his year. But we saw hell no. And a 5-2 win for them. Game 3. Good for them. They much, very much needed that on home ice. 2-1 in the series. David. Stevenson. Uh-oh. I saw Vecca 9 and just had a two goal game and we still lost. That's pretty sad. My defenseman scores twice and you guys lose. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. McDavid was like, dude, we're not fucking around this year. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Game seven, home ice. Do or die here, boys. Are you fucking joking, Chuck? I don't even care about the whatever we're bringing them up. We got someone to replace. No, eh? Ton of a bitch. I'm just gonna have to put a defenseman there, I guess. Oh, cause you're playing on the third line. Oh fuck. Yeah, I guess that's better than whatever, right? Fuck sakes. I don't even fuck care at this point. Wait, what? It's Really? Better already. Oh, I did all that and I had tone my for box six. Well could have one like that.
Yeah, that's lines. Fuck it. Game seven without Chuck Hawks and. And Petra Linen wins us the game. No Chuck Hogson. Weird lineup. And we make the finals. We're going against who? The Caps? The Sens? The Caps? The Caps. Yes. No way what the actual fuck where's Gru. There he is. And then uh Wood could go back down here. Alright, and it looks like we're playing the Washington Capitals. I'm not even gonna look at fuck him, right? Another third period he wrote. Connor McDavid must fucking hate us. I'm actually going to make a career sim. And we lose 4-2 this time. That doll guy. Only oh, buried like fucking 8 goals there. Damn, those are hot. Yeah, baby. 3 nothing. Aw. And we win 4-3 thanks to Ryan failing the 4th line center. Who would have thought? Fuck yeah. Fuck! That's not good. Usually Sonka still gets a plus one. He's playing at an 80. Why well, I say it's always there when we need him. Off oh, takes. Fuck. Damn, those are hot. Holy fuck. Actually, fuck it. We're keeping Hawk in. I don't fucking care. 2-2 two, two series. There goes the dog. He's barking like a motherfucker. I gotta finish this, boys. Holy fuck. Third period. Ah, oh, overtime. Ah, oh, fucking doll wins in an overtime. It's not the cop, though. That's a game six now. In Washington. They have the chance to beat this, uh... Crazy dynasty, I guess you could call it, even though we lost in the first round last year, but I mean. And the President's Trophy team, all oh, big game, 6-1 win. The boys weren't going out without a bang. Game 7. Holy fuck, we gotta stop eating them in. Oh man, real time sim. Got up to 10 minutes. Hogs and ties the game. Looks like we're going to overtime. Or not! Ricard Petrolinen with a 3 2 lead now. Oh, and Connolly puts the empty netter away. And we're fucking done, boys. Another Stanley Cup here in Colorado. Uh, I'm sorry I gotta cut it off right the fuck now. But thanks to the one person watching this. You're fucking awesome. I will see you later.